So I noticed on Pine Hill Raceway and on Espadalen that they both have parts of track that aren't listed in the track selector. Whole track layouts that you can't race on at all. Espadon is the most noticeable with its unlisted track. It's really easy to see the second start finish line on the backstretch. But the wide turn that goes from the backstretch to turn one wasn't as noticeable to me. I just thought it was an unusually wide road, which it kind of is. And one time, as I was watching a replay of a race I did at a short track, I noticed a wide turn that was right next to the short track and that was part of the backstretch. And I knew about the start finish line on the backstretch, and seeing this just sent me into confusion. This is a crappily made drawing of what the unlisted track would look like. Another unlisted part on Espadon is the unlisted turn 1, this thing. I don't think it takes that much to move an AI path of sorts onto the other turn that is a few feet away from the original. But maybe I'm completely wrong. I have no idea how to do anything like that. But that is all for Espadon. And Pine Hill Raceway is much different. Now, unlike Espadon, Pine Hill's unlisted track is very detailed. The turn on Espadon was a bit under detailed compared to the rest of the track. But the track at Pine Hill has the same quality as the tracks that are listed. There's even grandstands by it. I don't know why you would put all of this work into something and completely leave it. The most noticeable part of the track is the open part by the main track. When I first raced here, I just thought it was a feature to have an open spot like this, but I didn't suspect that there was another track layout. Soon I figured out the whole layout of the unlisted track, if it was listed, and this is what I got. I figured this out because the Wreckfest devs put tire marks to where the track would head, so I assumed it connected to the short track like this. Well, I don't know what the deal is with these unlisted tracks, but I hope that in future updates, Wreckfest releases them to the track selector. Anyways, thanks for watching.